Okay, we're back with the uh, Quinn family and the Decades Challenge. I haven't recorded or posted for a little while. Um, I had to kind of restart this family. I had the girl and the guy saved, but I hadn't saved with the children. Um, my computer's having some major glitches, glitches once I switched over to the EA app, so I re-downloaded the house. Um, it was still in the same save I had, but I had built a second floor on because when the toddlers age up I need more space so I just downloaded the one as is and I deleted some things that the uh, current or future family that was living here had in it but if for the most part it's the same um, but since I had to redo the family over again their um, skills are pretty much at zero their skills and levels so we're kind of starting from scratch with that but I'm not gonna really focus on getting their skills and levels back up other than getting to the point where we can work with the garden and do that stuff because um, they need that to make money because that's our money makers work in the farm so we'll see how that's gonna go but her knitting skills down and I had to kind of redo the toddlers because they were almost ready to age up and I redid them so now we got to kind of do the daily grind and get the toddler skills back up to where they need to be and get to the point where we can age them up. I was kind of tossing around the idea of whether or not to keep this at normal lifespan or reduce it to short lifespan because it seems like it's taking a long time with normal lifespan. I mean there's stuff going on but it's kind of like I don't know a little repetitious because of um, just doing the farming and they're not really doing much else so I don't know I think I don't know I'm kind of still thinking about it um, Maybe by the end of this episode, episode, I'll decide if I want to keep it normal lifespan or make it short. But I think I did pretty good um, with the with the uh, kids, though, because since I just had the mom and the dad saved in my gallery, I had to do the kids through um, the cast and just do the genetic one, where you you know click on the genetics and have them have kids that way. And I think they look pretty close to what they did before. So, I don't know. <laughs> as best as I could do, though. So, like I said, I have to kind of redo the training for the kiddos here, and that's kind of time-consuming. I'm not sure how much to add in here or cut out, so I might come in here and take a bunch off. So, you'll probably notice some days missing. Because <laughs> I kind of want to get back to where we were, where we had the toddlers about ready to age up. Because um, I'm hoping to do that in this episode. So we can get past this toddler stage and move on. Aww. Excuse my runny nose. It's so blustery and cold today at our house. It is so unbelievably cold. And it's March, for Pete's sake. <gasps> I'm ready for spring. And I had the dad here fishing because I was trying to get a cow plant berry because we need that for a future decade to simulate wartime. And I don't have one yet. Well, since we started over again and we're in a new save, now we have to deal with the welcome wagon, which I... Maybe it's not so bad to have some friends. <laughs> the last save, we didn't we pretty much ignored everybody from town and didn't deal with them because I was so fixated on just, you know, getting the family aged up and skilled up and have kids and all that stuff. But it doesn't hurt to know your neighbors, I guess. Even though my family's technically 1890s and all these people are modern. So it does look a little weird, but can't do much about that. I'm not gonna go in and change everybody in the whole town of Henford on Bagley. That'd be crazy. Well, she can't go. I don't know where she can't go. Trying to see if we can get these kids attention up their attention is so low i'm so used to using barfly um barf blarfy that i get his name wrong all the time so used to using blarfy for getting their talk skills up i don't know how if um 1890s they had ginormous teddy bears i don't think that's um decade appropriate but i don't know i may uh, cut my losses here and just stick a big old barfy Blarfy in there anyway and deal with it cuz I'm trying to get them to talk to each other, but I don't know. It just doesn't seem to be working too well We'll get little George here to make some friends too I like watching their interaction together. I don't know why they're not getting along at the moment, but We'll see. But here's George and his little buddy I mean, we'll have to find him somebody to marry in the future 
Because we're going to have him stay at the farm and he's going to need a wifey. So, I don't know, you never know. Now they finally talk to each other a little bit. I don't know why he's so tense. It says he's, I guess, from being a loner. There must be people fishing near him. No, oh, maybe the welcome wagon. He doesn't a fan of having people the welcome wagon. So we'll just have him deal with the farm animals for now. We still have a cow. It's a different cow. This is the cow that came with the uh, house I downloaded <laughs> from the uh, future family. So they have a brown cow. I think we had a, did we have a brown cow or a black and white? I don't remember what color our cow was, to be honest. Does she be... Why does Welcome Wagon seem to take forever? I don't think it really is that long, but it seems like it's taking an eternity. She's still in a bad mood. I don't really know why. She's getting tired, so I might as well just get ready to put her to bed. But yeah, I had them all potty trained, and then since we started over, now I have to do the whole potty training thing over again. That's super annoying. Uh, there's probably ways you could cheat it, but I don't have um, MC Command Center or UI Cheats, so I'm out of luck. And to be honest, I'm not going to worry about... I'm thinking about getting them, but I'm not going to worry about it right now since I know they're doing a new update for the the family pack that's coming out and the new update that's coming out, so they'll have to update those anyway. Whoa, where'd it go? Yum. Where'd it go? Where's your sculpture? Was he done? I don't think he was done. Maybe he was. Didn't look done. But yeah, I had to start her over with her knitting skills, so she's working on that. And I was kind of playing around with trying to take a picture of her. <laughs> but I'm so bad at taking pictures in this game. It's unbelievable. I think we're at the point where we're going to have to start putting people to bed here. I mean, the toddlers are asleep, which is good. But now let's work on the older kids and the adults. It's a busy day. Starting a new save and starting to visiting with all the family and the neighbors. Oh, he did finish that statue, so I guess we'll sell that then. Now what's he mad about? He's got a hot temper, so he's always mad about something. It's kind of annoying, but... Hmm. What are you gonna do? Let's feed the babies. See if we can take care of his anger issues. But yeah, trying to get leveled back up to our gardening level. I mean, I don't know if we're gonna get back as high as we were before we have to we move away from this family or this generation. But at least need to get to the point where they can evolve the plants because there's a lot of plants that need evolved and their gardening skills not high enough to actually do that. So that's kind of annoying. And of course his hand handiness skill is down so we're gonna have him work at the crafting table so we can use him to fix stuff around the house. Oh, and she's angry again. She seems to get angry a lot. I cannot for the life of me keep their attention span up. Why don't they talk to each other? They're sitting freaking across the hallway from each other, the room, whatever. Yeah, see, come on. Just just talk to each other. It should be super easy. Just talk to your sister. Oop. My cat's currently knocking everything off my dresser. Leia! Leia! You're being a brat! You're being a brat! She literally just knocked, knocked, knocked down my hairbrush, some hair things, and a quarter. She's being such a brat. She's like seven, six or seven years old, and she's acting like a little kitten right now. And our youngest, who's about 18 months old, she's just sitting there staring at her. <laughs> yeah, you being a bad influence. So. All right, here. Uh, I think we are going to suck it up and get a blurfy because I am tired of fighting this. I've had enough trouble with this. They can talk to the frickin' bear. If they can't talk to each other, they can talk to the dumb bear. See? Talk to the bear. I don't know why they won't talk to each other. Oh, his little buddy came over to play again. Nice! I'm gonna have to research um, 
when swings were invented and, in, you know, in general use because having a swing would be very convenient for getting some fun levels up. So I think that even works for the teenagers. I don't think the monkey bars will work because I can see someone in the 1890s hanging up like a swing on a tree or something. But I don't see them putting up a set of monkey bars in their yard, so. I don't know. But I'm also trying to get Ellie's skill up on knitting. She had been in knitting, uh, knitting like her mom, but hers was down too. And of course, dealing with the monster under the bed. Ugh, just nip this in the bud. Have sister spray the bed quick and just put him down for a nap. I just need to keep them from going to wake up the parents and then that in the intern will probably wake up the toddlers. We don't need everybody up at this time of the morning. See, just go back to bed. Yeah, nap. You're fine. Hmm, how are chickens doing? Ooh, okay. Well, I thought I cleaned that yesterday, but maybe I didn't. Maybe he got distracted and never did it. Could have sworn I told him to do it. Weird. Chickens are cute, though. <laughs> that green stench coming out of the shed. Could you imagine if that happened in real life? That'd be so gross. If you could just see stinky emanations coming off of people's houses and sheds and stuff. Ugh. Oh, of course, she needs a bath. Ugh. Yeah, I'm ready to age these little kids up because this is not fun doing this all over again. <laughs> oh no. Well. And we're not having any more kids. I do not want her to get pregnant again. And the old save, I'll let you know, she didn't. We had four and that was it. But since this is a new save, we kind of started from scratch and there's story progression. I just need to be careful about when I leave the lot and visit other households and stuff because you never know what could happen. And since I don't have MC Command Center, I can't necessarily fix that or change that. <laughs> so we might be stuck. Oh, I think she's just staring at... Why is she staring at Blarfy? She might be doing the what's that thing. I don't remember. Yeah, it was the what's that thing. Yep, 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 yep. Trying to get the thinking skill up. Oh, Dad's in bad shape. Just finish your sculpture and you can go use the bathroom. No, you need to like handiness. Jeez, you need to be the guy who fixes things around the house. Can't have you disliking it. It's not good. Oh, at least they have somewhat of a romantic bar. I haven't really been looking at that, especially since I recreated them. That just worked out. We need to avoid the woohoo, though. We can't use that to help get their relationship up because we don't want to have babies. Remember, this is 1890s. We can't just woohoo. We have to always try for baby. We don't want any more babies. I don't know why she's fussy. Maybe she just needs to go to bed. Yes, go to sleep. Late enough. Look at them having a chit chat together. Cute! It's been a little tricky trying to manage all the chickens on top of two toddlers. I mean, not saying the chickens are as bad as toddlers, but when you realize you didn't clean the coop and you didn't collect any eggs for a while and you need to feed them and then you've got to bathe the toddler and potty them still, it's blah. Especially two twins, two toddlers, it's kind of annoying. But that's life. Get you busy. Especially when you got little ones. Yep. I mean, at least a teenager can help a little bit when she's home, but... That's when she's home, but she'll be home soon, so we'll see. <laughs> kind of just doing the daily grind now, getting their skills back up, taking care of... Oh, see, now the cow's not happy. I don't know. I thought we were just out there talking to the cow. The cow is so needy. 
for a cow. I mean, if you think about real cows, they don't care if you talk to them or not. I mean, they want to be fed. They don't even care if they're dirty, I don't think. Not really. I mean, they roll out in the mud anyway. It's one needy cow. Should just name her princess or something. But yeah, my plants are driving me crazy. They, um, the last time I saved, they all went dormant, so I had to go through and reset them all. At least the fall ones, because it's fall now. They keep doing that. I don't know why they keep doing that. I can't remember if they did that in the old save or not. I don't know if that's a new glitch, but I mean, it's not impossible to fix. It's just annoying to keep having to reset the gardening, the plants and the trees. It's just, uh... we're slowly getting there aged close to being aged up. I think we're, I think we'll end this episode after aging them up. That's my plan. So we might cut another chunk out here and there. So we are going to jump a few days. You'll probably notice at the bottom of the screen that I'll probably jump from like Tuesday to Friday or whatever. I don't know. I don't know how much I'm going to cut out, but yeah, see, I think we're going to go with shorts. Just, it's too much doing long and normal. It takes forever. There's a lot that can happen in a normal lifespan. And I think they're going to change the lifespans with the updates. It might seem even longer now if they're going to add the new baby level, the baby, um, stage I don't know we'll see but yeah plus I changed the seasons um, my seasons were originally set on 28 days and I decided to change it to um, seven especially if I'm gonna have them on a short lifespan because it don't want them to um, only live through one season especially when it keeps lightning and thundering so much in this world maybe that's a thing with him for the Begley well it looks like the Twins are getting ready to age up. Oh, yay, today. So we need to focus on getting them a cake. Oh, gosh, Mom, calm down. Her eggs were a little, must be a little crispy now. I'm surprised she didn't catch the stove on fire with that amount of fire in her pan. But I have to admit, I do like watching the interactions between the, the kids together and the parents and zooming in and checking it out. I mean, this could be so neat when they had the baby update. But I'm not sure how to make that specifically 1890s or, well, it's going to be the 1900s really when I can use the baby update. Because we are having no more babies for now. So that's not going to really affect us. Thank goodness. I'm going to need to watch some people's videos on you know stuff to do and all that stuff getting some good pictures here look at the side eye on those two <laughs> it looked a little ominous well we got the cake let's get ready to age these little kids up come on come on yeah i think it'll be easier to do on the countertop all right so we'll have sister help how about that oh calm down chicken you don't want cake Oh, and our countertop's nasty, but that's okay. I'm getting ready to take a picture. Come on. Oh, come on. Take a picture. All right. Good job. Now get your sister. I think she's sleeping, so we're going to have to wake her up first. Okay, let's see what we get. Lactose intolerant. Well, that's going to be annoying. I'm going to forget. I can guarantee I'm going to forget she's lactose intolerant and she's going to end up eating a bunch of crap. You think they would know? Like, if they got that trait, they'd be a little self-aware when they pull food out of the refrigerator, but they're not. At least not all the time. It's weird. All right, now it's time to do the other one. There we go. Come on. Happy birthday to you. Come on. And we're going to add birthday candles again because if you keep it in the fridge with birthday candles, they won't take a piece from it. No, we're not doing 1890s kleptomaniac. I think that's going to be a little too hard to handle. Maybe when they're later decades, that would be kind of cool to have. But not the 1890s. I'm not sure how that will go over. All right, let's see here. So I sped this up, and I just quickly picked out some outfits for them and some simple hairstyles. I mean, there's really nothing super 1890s appropriate in children's wear at least for the packs i have i don't have all the packs i have a lot of them but i don't have all of them and i have no custom content i've thought about it but i really am not 
super tech savvy and I'm, my game's already having some issues after moving to the EA app so I don't want to have custom content in there to mess things up or mods right now. Maybe in a month or so when things have settled down and maybe they've worked out some of the bugs with the EA app and the new pack, then I'll worry about it. But, but these girls are cute. Give them some simple hairstyles that would probably fit. I mean, mostly, mostly, mostly I just gave them long dresses or dresses, period, and leggings or tights because I figured they probably did wear tights back then. Heavy tights, and uh, I think a couple times I gave them some overalls, kind of like dungarees, because I'm figuring if they're on a farm, there's a possibility they may have worn um, dungarees when they're helping out in the farm. I don't really know for sure, though. Well, thanks for watching this episode, and hopefully you liked it. Uh, please continue to watch this uh, Decades Challenge. It's been super fun, and now that we have a shortened lifespan, things should go a little quicker, hopefully. We'll be getting into the 1900s soon, so stay tuned for that. And see you next time. Please like and subscribe.